Contending that black money had destroyed the country, Prime Minister Narendra Modi reached out to the youth, asking them to fight against it along with social problems like caste discrimination, untouchability and harassment of women. While addressing the 21st National Youth Festival at Rotak, the Prime Minister hailed the youth for their contribution to various aspects of society. Prime Minister Modi has asked the youth of the country to never stop the learning process. Addressing a program through video conferencing organized by the Vivekananda Kendra in Kanyakumari, the Prime Minister said, India is a youthful nation and thoughts of Swami Vivekananda inspire people towards nation building. The PM also said, spirituality is not connected to religion but to humanity, though some people try to correlate it with religion. Finance Minister Arun Jaitley inaugurated Airtel Payments Bank of Bharti Enterprises in New Delhi, which is being rolled out across the country with an investment of 3,000 crore rupees. Speaking on the occasion, the Finance Minister said that excessive use of paper currency is detrimental to society and hope banking transaction charges will fall with the entry of new pairs. BJP Today released the first list of candidates for the upcoming assembly polls in Goa and Punjab. Briefing the media in New Delhi, Secretary of Party Central Election Committee JP Nanda announced the names of 29 candidates for Goa and 17 for Punjab. Meanwhile, the Congress also released the list of candidates for 27 seats for the upcoming Goa assembly polls, retaining its six sitting legislators as nominees. A CISF Jawan allegedly opened fire on his colleagues, killing four of them at their unit at a thermal power station in Aurangabad district in Bihar. The accused Jawan has been identified as Constable Balbir Singh, who hails from Ali Garden, Uttar Pradesh. Police said the Jawan lost his school following a dispute over leave and fire from his rifle. Meanwhile, Balbir has been arrested. The Supreme Court rejected a plea urging it to pass judgment on bull taming sport Jalikatta before the harvest festival of Pongal on Saturday. The Apex Court, however, said that the draft of judgment has been prepared but it was not possible to deliver it before Saturday when Jalikat is to be organized. Khanderi, the second Scorpion class stealth submarine that has superior stealth and the ability to launch a crippling attack with torpedoes as well as two launched anti-ship missiles whilst underwater or on surface was launched at the Mazgaon Dock Shipbuilders Limited in Mumbai. Union Minister of State for Defence Subhash Bhamre has said that the Pakistan military authorities have committed to release the Indian soldier Chandu Chavan, who inadvertently strayed across the border last year. The minister said that efforts are being made at the DJMO level to secure his release. The DJMO has spoken to their Pakistani counterpart at least 15 to 20 times. With the mercury dipping to a low of 2 degrees Celsius, Delhi government has directed schools run by it to extend their winter break till the 19th of January in the wake of the chilly weather in the national capital and private schools to take action as per their assessment. The schools run by NDMC, MCD and Delhi Cantonment Board have been asked to take their own call. Over two months after the unceremonious sacking of Cyrus Mystery, Tata Group named TCS Chief N. Chandrasekharan as the new executive chairman of Tata Sons. He was chosen to step into the shoes of interim chairman Ratan Tata, who took over on the 24th of October last year after the removal of mystery. The announcement did not mention Chandrasekharan's tenure at the top. Industrial production grew at a 13-month high of 5.7% in November, notwithstanding the demonetization that was implemented, while retail inflation remained subdued at multi-year low of 3.41% in December. E-retail giant Amazon removed Indian flag doormats after external affairs minister Sushma Suraj took strong exception to Amazon Canada selling these doormats. Sushma Suraj had asked Amazon to withdraw the products and tendered an unconditional apology, failing which no official of Amazon will be granted Indian visas and the ones issued earlier will be revoked. France today pressed for decisive action against Pakistan-based terror groups like LTJM and Hezbollah Mujahideen, which are targeting India and vow to work with New Delhi to get terrorist Masood Azhar prescribed by the UN Security Council. French Foreign Minister Jean-Marc Ayrault in an interview said the international community's determination to combat terrorism must be the same everywhere, regardless of the threat. The US Senate passed a measure to take the first step forward on dismantling President Barack Obama's health care law responding to pressure to move quickly even as Republicans and President-elect Trump grapple with what to replace it with. India A chased down the target of 283 for win set by England with 10 overs to spare in the second warm-up match at the Brabant Stadium in Mumbai. 
India A scored 283 for 4 in 39.4 overs, with openers Ajinkya Rahane and Sheldon Jackson both scoring half centuries, taking the attack to the English cricket team bowlers.